washing machines live longer with Calgon. So, hello, all amigos, all amigas. Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, Christoui. Salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chash Nyakshi Mash. So, as you can see, you're looking at this machine thinking, that's not yours. No, you're right. It's not mine. It's Sam's. So we're going to be doing a Washy Wednesday video at Sam's house. So this I'm is out of my comfort zone. Well, this is the first of a series I'd like to do. It's kind of like you know, do a washing machine vloggy video um, in everybody's everybody's house. I'm sitting here on a chair in the kitchen. I don't even know how Sam, you got in. You just so yeah, I just appeared. Oh, upstairs. And Sam's sitting there on his knees like he normally is. I'm probably gonna have to do something. In he is going to do something at the minute. So we are going to be doing a demonstration video using this machine. And what do we have? We have a hot point. WMBF742, which stands for the amount of times it breaks itself <laughs> in a year. So this is a 7 kilogram machine. It's A++ class. That's how well it breaks. And what we have here, let's start at the drawer. So... Here we have the draw with oh, all know. of the programs, uh, which is Clean Plus, Specials, Cold Cycle, they're all on there. It says here Variable Load and Auto Clean. So I don't know what that means, Auto Clean. Automatically washes the clothes like it should. Hmm. It's still washing Dial on the front here with uh, all of the program numbers. Uh, you can see a digital display and you can uh, turn it on. Dee, 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 dee. There we go, so it is now on. Uh, it automatically comes up to, you've got it on a number three, which is white. What are we doing today? We are going to number seven because it takes two and a half hours otherwise. Fast wash, 60 and we, minutes. When Amy and the kids lived here, that's all it ever did. It just did about four small of those a day with <laughs> all of the clothes. And it was all right. So we've got the temperature, we need to put, are you work at the darks, are they? To do 60. How's it? Yeah, it is. I don't own clothes fancy enough to have to change the temperature. Spin 1400, so it is a maximum 1400. Um, there's the delay button. That's such a handy button. I use that now because I set it for like two hours before I leave work. Yes. To come on. Then by the time I walk through the door, it's generally done. Extra rinse. We're going to do an extra rinse. Um, clean in action. Let's do. I don't think that changes on that. No, nope, you can't change that. I think one. it has about half an hour to it. <laughs> reasons I do not know. And the play button, the power button, which is pulsating on and off. Yeah, it pulsates. It, it flashes orange when it's a problem. It flashes orange. Right? So, <sighs> let's get the machine loaded. Uh, plastic door, glass. From its second latch. Metal hinge. Its third drum. Its second set of paddles. Oh my god! How long have you had it? Oh, we came. Um, well, it was it was pretty much brand new when we rented the house six years ago because it, it comes with the house. We had to get rid of our beautiful Mila washing machine that I got given for free at oh, three years no. old after only being used by like my mum and my stepdad's carer. Had to get rid of it because we had this thing. So how long after you had it? When did, was, was the first issue with it? Oh, it just, it just degrades. It, you'll probably hear it soon. But what I found, it might be my fault for putting Dyson hoses in it. Maybe. Wow, well, I'm not going to say anything. The paddles anything. rip off. <laughs> It swallowed two Renault Laguna, two car keys, <laughs> um, a couple of lighters, oh my a God. Dyson DCO3 filter, which I put all over social media when it happened. That wasn't great. Mm. But it's okay. It doesn't get And the um, pump uh, thing, that's accessed from that little panel at the bottom, isn't it? Click. Yeah, there. Now, again, I've had a Vax 1, 2, 1, sat under there, <laughs> waiting for it to drain. <laughs> It's just a whole thing. So the machine has lasted pretty long, but that's only because it's been well, practically it replaced. Machine. I lie. We did have the whole thing replaced because oh. I sent the instruction books for the old hot point to Chris Pierce. Ah. He likes these are washing machine posts. So no, it has been replaced, couldn't quite tell you when. I think they just wrote it off. <laughs> right, it's okay, yeah. No, so. no, the, the spider corroded. It had the one before this had a corroded spider. Oh right, okay. Right to the point where the bloke came as Amy was finishing alone and said Never use it again. No, <laughs> I'm amazed it runs. Away <coughs> Did he explain it. to you about why the spider, what they do to them? Oh, it's not they put the two material. different materials. Oh, together. Yeah, they yeah, put two different metals yeah, together. Well, it grows, isn't it? So which sort of like one eats the other? Yeah, yeah. The it's just ridiculous. 
Um, right, okay, so let's get your stuff right. loaded. Well, I have a few cloths to wash. This can actually be a sort of inner test. test okay, excellent. I that is up some curry sauce. That is, that is manking. That's bland pants. And then we'll just have all of my normal washing because it needs doing. My well, look, we got Sam's washing, Sam's pants. Uh, right. Okay, it's full load, that's pretty good. Okay, so it's let's have a look and see what Sam's detergent yeah, habits choice, are. Actually. We oh. can use this stuff which I was given, which I've used to hand Oh, yes, wash. that'll be good to do. Well, you haven't seen the other stuff yet. Okay. I've used it to hand wash vacuum bags. It did the royal bag that you saw upstairs. And it's quite mm. nice. I, I got given it. Uh, we have Thirth. Nah. Oh. Um, definitely. The, we have um, Fairy, method. which the kids use, but, but I, you have Fairy Nombody, yeah. I've never liked it. And then Fabrics Often Rise, we have the Child Safe Comfort, oh. and then this actually, which I bought at Middles, which is quite nice. Right, so we will have a go at the um, Liddles so one all and Method, and method because right. uh, I haven't done a video on Method yet, so it'll be normally, interesting to see that. Right, so how would you like me to do this? I normally chuck the detergent in the drum, but would you like it in the drawer, sir? No, liquids I always put in the drum. Right, I don't have a spinny thing, but I'm just going to pour it in because it's fun. Now, before you do that, what is the um, what is the recommended dosage on the bottle? You just pour it in. <laughs> how did you put it on? What's it say at the back? I'm going to put the lid on, otherwise he's going to go catastrophically wrong. <laughs> oh, that's bright. I'm ruining your video, sorry. No, you're all right. The, the more amateur right. out, the better. It is very amateur. Two wash, pour into machine, draw. No. Need to work it. What are these? There you go, right. Standard, I don't know, it fights dirt and stays. Ah, right, right okay. Right, standard load, one cap, 40 mil. Okay, so one cap. Do I have to measure it or just pour it? No, just pour it, go on. Yeah. Is that you, I'm just doing what you normally there we do. There oh, um, It's a bit more than that. That'll do. That. Yeah, one point. I think it's a bit rubbish. So, that's in there. <laughs> and then, I'm going to put the hand over the, the, the drawer. Open. He doesn't want us to see the drawer. Oh, it's so embarrassing. It does it like... Oh, every, that's not bad. No, it goes mouldy at the top. Yeah, no, no. Every it's... couple... Of, I, I would just last scrub that out just a couple of months ago. It's a sodding nightmare. But your drawer's nice and clean. No. That's it, not bad. It doesn't flush the fabric softener out. All right, okay. It is literally the Hoover Evo bagless of washing machines. <laughs> yes. Okay. No, he's putting in his fabric. I don't like this bottle thing on. No, either. that is that terrible. Is not a poorly spout. Let's see how much he puts in. Oh, I just put that much oh. in. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I don't have a phone car. You literally need a cap full of that. <laughs> it all depends on what size cap you use. So, we'll shut the drawer. Okay, drawer shut. You've already done everything, haven't you? Right, so what I'm going to do now is reposition the camera on the tripod and then we're just going to have chat and banter and the washing machine and we can chat about that. Back in a sec. I'll do a cheeky photo. Have you done it? No, I can do it while you do it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. So we're back and uh, we are ready to press play. So this is going to be one hour and ten minutes. Yay. Press play, Sam. Play it again, Sam. Now you have to wait three minutes for it to do nothing. And then it starts to work. But you know why it's doing that? Yeah. Heating. Ah. Heats the water oh, first. It just fills it up and then heats yep. it and then it starts to work. Okay, so it, the water's it's, going it, in. It's a cold feed only machine. Yes. Just sits there and fills itself in the water. Have you ever done this before? Sat in front of the well, washing machine and washed it. it? No, but Charlie does. Charlie's a good fan sometimes. Yeah. Well, he's a potential washing Maybe. machine fan. Maybe. I have sat in front of it before. Well, if there's something in there that I'm not quite sure how it's surviving, or like a pneumatic filter's flip forward and it's getting caught yes. in the glass, then I've watched it like turn the spin off and rescued it as soon. Because you now cannot open this up there is no pause there's no unlock you can pause the machine but it doesn't unlock the door oh at all even if it's empty you have to let it finish its cycle and when it's like broken or has just broken itself you just gotta turn the spin down and wait so it doesn't oh. destroy itself a bit fatal flaw in my opinion no i haven't done a wash with one of these hot points but so, so for me this is you know a first time so it'll be interesting to see how it performs it's just, listen to go. the sound of the motor. Sounds all right. Maybe a teeny weeny bit strained, but the thing about it is... I think this is it's low balancing. 
how many um, how many loads would you do with kids? Oh, oh. We could do two or three a day. Exactly. Ill, we could do ten or eleven a day. We just like two or three things a day. Yeah. Now that I'm living on my own, I find I I just do like a good two and a half hour hot wash a week. Yeah. I don't really use a fast wash anymore. Yeah. But yeah, it gets hammered. It's got it gets absolutely hammered. But it is good though that you do use hot washes because doing a hot wash, I mean, yeah. the majority of people now they just wash on thirty degrees. We've done a fast lick. wash fifteen on like either school dress the night before. Sort of yes. Thing. But yeah, yes. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to wash clothes in it. No, no, and neither would I. No. And the thing about it is, on the instructions, there's a load amount of more you can put in. So a lot of the cycles, it's always the longer cycles, that take the more load. Will kind of like you know, dark cycles. You're not supposed to put more than like four kilos in. Right. Even though it's a I've seven never kilo paid machine. To that. Well, exactly. Oh, I have the manual upstairs. So you know, if you go when you, oh, if you look through the manual, yeah, go on in, yeah. That'll be interesting. Why are you chatting away? Because we do have it. Bear with. So slow spinners to start with, it seems, possibly. But it's not a full, full load, so it did manage to fit in quite a bit, actually. And still have all this room. So I can see the clothes and everything are wet. There's not much foam at the moment, but the foam could start uh, happening where later on. Let me have a look at that method ball. This is the one. So this is Method Concentrated Laundry Detergent in Wild Lavender. Powerful stain shifter. Dermatologically tested. 39 washes in this big bottle. Look at the back. Get a load of this. Worth taking your clothes off for. That's smart clean technology for you. Five naturally derived powerful enzymes wrangle dirt and stains clean away leaving laundry smelling of heaven and looking its Sunday best. Fights dirt and stains, keeps whites white, shields against stains, works in cold water, and 98% biodetergible ingredients. Blah, 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 standard load, one cap, dirty loads, two cap and a half, 60 mils. Um, so what's in the bottle? I can't read it out, there's a lot of things, enzymes and stuff. It doesn't say anything about what it's... Let's have a look at the front. It doesn't say anything about um, what type of loads, if you can use it on just whites or darks or colours. It doesn't actually say... Isn't Method Wilco? Or similar? I'm not sure. Robert Dyers or something. Instructions, pour into a machine drawer, leave to work its magic, return to clean fresh laundry. Sorry, we can't do the iron in. Aha, to pre-treat, rub a little detergent onto an irksome stain. Wait five minutes, wash as usual. I've never had that working. No. Oh, here we go, it does say, I'm lying. It's a dis disappearing act. Loves whites and colour fast fabric. Testing conspicuous area for colour fastness, not suitable on wool and silk. Check instructions on labels. So it doesn't mention anything about dark, so... I've used on darks before, yeah. and they haven't exploded. Yeah. So let's open the lid and have a sniff. Oh, it smells lovely. With a really weird chemical aftersmell. Yes. But you're right, it, it, it's it does smell nice. No, it's not unpleasant. All right, okay, so what we have here, everybody, is the instructions for it. Ever been open? That is the machine I used to have, which yeah, is the right. Hot Pointer Qualtus. That's what you could have bought, but instead, <laughs> you bought this. <laughs> so, instructions. There'll be some scissors up behind us. So, oh, there's a nice thing. thing. The one is. Oh, it's like 50 years. It's a brand new one open washing Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you'll see these on eBay for 50 I did have my washing machine stuff out of the collection. If I ever get like, a job like a Hoover paper, vacuum cleaner paper work, I always genuinely give all the washing machine stuff to other people who like washing machines. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough with me. I've had like vintage Hoover brochures for like the keymatics and stuff. Mm. And other stuff. So here we have an instructions for use Never and read. also laundry energy saving tips Never from read. Ariel and Hot Point. This is just uh, a, big a bit of advertising, a yeah, complete <laughs> advert. Uh, well, the Amiga machines in Interesting fact, there have never been any Ariel products through this machine. Oh. Yeah, because we always, we always had to use Fairy because it, was, it like, didn't mess the kid's skin up. Well, yes, exactly, yes. This, no, I know what you mean. But that's but why is... I still have some, so I can do their washing. 
there is more, there is sense behind what you do, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what the, the drama is, but um, yeah, with detergents. Okay. So instructions for use, right. installation, carry maintenance, precaution, blah, 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 running a wash cycle. So let's have a look. Oh, we're doing that. That's a bit funny, How to put it in. It doesn't oh. foam very well. I always quite like it when it foams, detergent. But I was looking, the method does doesn't, always. no, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. They just put the foaming agent in for us. For people, for end users, they just seem to think that um, if you see foam, you think it's working. It's all psychological. There's the instructions. So it's A plus plus, 174 kilowatts a year. <clears throat> it weighs oh seven kilograms is the weight. It's B rated for dryness. <clears throat> 62 decibels on a wash and 84 decibels on a spider. Um, 84 decibels. Oh! Right. <laughs> it, it didn't get killed, everybody. Yeah. Uh, precautions and tips. Don't put your fingers in it. Don't wash balls in it. Description of the machine. Blah, 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 blah. Display. Switching it on. Right, this is what we were interested in, which is the wash cycles and options. So what does a number seven get you? So a number seven, what we're doing is... I know how full we have rounded on a number seven. <coughs> it's a fast wash, 60 degrees. Um, to refresh normal soil garments yeah. quickly, not suitable for wool and silk, which require washing by yeah, hand. So no, right, because normally it's like... My my work shirts I've worn that day and other just literally yeah, exactly. worn that day. So the max temp on that cycle is 60 degrees, what we're doing. The max spin is 1400, what we're doing. So you have wash fabric softener options. Max load, 3.5 kilos, which I think, to be honest, that wouldn't have been much more than, than 3.5. How do you know, though? What? But it is 3.5, you have to measure it. Well, I'm just kind of like guessing and, and I, stuff I from how much it sinks it. down. I'll be, I'll be gauged by how hard it is to push more clothes in. <laughs> no! But I'll best take that out. If you, can, if you can loosely fill the machine yeah. up to the top. Look, and that's why it does wash a lot better. Now, that, that's an average weekly load for me. Yeah. And that's about nice as it tumbles. It's got lots it? of tumble room. We've had it before there, where it, and squishing. It, it doesn't tumble and the clothes come out compacted. Yeah. Into, like, their yeah. Thing. So actually, having it, you know, you can still put a couple of more, it could have yes. put a couple of items in it, but it's that's really good. Um, energy, blah, blah, blah. Total, oh, okay, so this load takes a total of 26 litres. What else have we got? We've got anti-stain, anti-stain quick, whites, cottons, max 90. So it I goes up to 90. 90. I haven't done one for a while, but normally I put all the bath towels in, and yes. whatever Dyson filters I have at the time, I just let it at it. Um, it does stink the kitchen out, but it purges through. <laughs> it through the Do you um, use powder for the hot washes? We used to use powder, but I didn't like it because it cracked up. Well, actually, powder, yeah, well, powder on a hot powder. wash right. is really good. So if you if you do um, a hot load, right. like once a month or whatever, yeah, if you, do if you thing, used it with powder... We used to get free electricity one. on a Sunday from British Gas. And I was ah, just on the Sunday. That was perfect. Good. We don't get it anymore, though. Oh. But what I, the problem with the powder was it never got washed out the drawer. So you'd end up with this no. big lump of crud. So we did then start putting it straight in the Yeah, exactly, yes. Which worked. Yeah. But I just use whatever I've got. I've got enough stuff to last me for a while now, so I'm going to go buy it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you, you do have some surf there. So yes. um, whenever you do a hot wash 90, uh, chuck in a bit of surf. I use, that uh, to, use your surf. I use that to cycle the vacuum parts before I wash them. That is, yeah, that's really good. Oh, I, I will do that. We haven't read the bottom of this. So Part this time. is um, Almat Soft. I've never used this yet. It was like £2.20. 120 washes. It's not too liquidy. Some of them, the cheaper ones, this like they're like water, so it's got some consistency to it. Almat soft, pure and gentle, seven day freshness. Smells very, very nice. 120 washes in this container, which is three liters or five in my dosage. <laughs> yeah, uh, 25 milligrams, which is like. And half a capful, um, or a hand washer, even smaller amount. Uh, ingredients: 
cationic surfactants, perfume and some other rubbish, uh, delicate skin, so keep away, widely recycled container, nothing about testing on animals. We can do that if you want, but perhaps <laughs> Try it on myself. Yeah, you are. So yeah, so that is it. That is the um, oh, owl mat, so and what, I do like that. What I had before nice. that was some Tesco stuff in yellow, and it's dark. It was very nice, but off it was just too much there. perfume. Yeah, it's far too much perfume, and it sort of made the inside of the fabric softer a bit yellow. But the thing about it is, what I'm really yeah. impressed is, is that you you know how to take care of yourself. <laughs> But, I do get that impression. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> so many guys wouldn't know where even where to start with a washing machine. You know how to use oh, yeah, it. I use it yeah. And I think it maybe is possible that it's something to do with like your love for appliances, maybe. I'm going to say it is an appliance. It doesn't do anything for me as much as vacuums do. But yes. I appreciate that other people like them, but no. To me, I'm like you used to do a vacuum. But it's just a washing machine. It's a pretty old washing machine. Yeah. I just have a special phone number that I call when it breaks. And but it's not sounding use. bad at the moment. It sounds okay. Yeah. It's not going to say it, it had worked not too long. I can't wait long. Amy used to do all of that when I was at work. If it breaks down the screws, I have to book a day off work. It Did you know that all of these washing machines that are belted mm. only spin in a clockwise direction? Mm. No. Yeah. But it spins backwards, you know, it's not its normal on, on a, on a, on a, when it starts, like, spinning, uh, well, yeah, it'll only go in clockwise, but, both ways, yes, so the LG goes ways. both ways, but the meter won't. That's if it shears off the shaft after, like, three years <laughs> of having it from the stress. But the funny thing is, though, with my LG, I find it does less imbalanced um, spins when it's going in anti-clockwise, for some strange reason. I don't know why. Paddle, God knows. But it seems to do a, a better spin in uh, anti-clockwise. Yeah. So we can see there's plenty of, you know, the, I can see the detergent falling down. There yeah, are bubbles. bits of yeah. bubbles. Yeah, that's right. that's but as the I wish I bought my um, thermometer. You know, the um, oh. laser thermometer. It's warm. Yeah. I reckon that's probably about. Well, yeah, a little bit warm, but I reckon that's probably about it. Ninety-one. You can't touch it. No. It's brutal. That motor on spin is going to be loud as buggery. It's a screamer. Oh my gosh. I, in fact, people, if you watch my channel, you'll, there's, oh God, there was a video that I filmed, but I had a wash on, and I haven't shut the door, and I was editing it, and all you can hear is the flipping washing machine in the background. I'll leave it out. Cause I, I, can, I can hear that motor when it's turning in um, clockwise. Um, because that's going to be the spin, so I can hear that motor and I can hear it going rawr, rawr, and that's just on normal spin, on, on normal turn, wash. It's such a loud thing, it is the, the, the cheap bagless vacuum cleaner with washing machines. But to be honest, I, I don't think they're that bad, no. compared to some which are on the market. Amy's got a Becco that she's got second hand. Yeah. A couple of people say that, a lot of people say that the Becco washing machines yeah, aren't that bad. Right. Apparently the detergent drawer was overflowing, but I just never had that happen. No. Just got a bit too Do miss my bee later. The thing about it is, though, is a lot of them are kind of they're just mistreated. True. I used to with mine. Yeah. I never used oh, to yeah. care about this, that, that, or the other. Those, I've had ten Dyson those. I don't do that anymore. If I do a hose, it's one at a time in with like a yeah. load of other stuff. But the, the main problem, but well, one of the problems is because. Every time they come out to fix it, you get engaged in banter. Oh, what washing machine did you used to have? As soon as we say me, though, it's oh, well, that's why, man, and you can't expect it to be like, no, it's broken. It, it shouldn't break. Oh, no, because the build quality is better. Mm. It's like, it's a rubbish excuse. And that's the problem. We then don't get any sort of, you know, oh, it's this design flaw that's causing it, mm. and therefore you know, it's always because it's not a mealer. But the, the, um, for, on my, on my mealer, it's got a replacement drum, right. and the drum it came with was the honeycomb shape. I've heard of that. I don't know what mine used But to this be. one I've got now isn't. So I was always wondering, well, why didn't they put a replacement honeycomb one in? Mm. But apparently the honeycomb drums for that era were really bad. Yeah, I 
don't think I did. I think ours was before the honeycomb stuff came out. So um, I don't know about. I mean, I don't know about now, but yeah. the people have said I've got the better drum, even though it's not the honeycomb drum. Right. It's actually a stronger drum. Have you got the other drums too? No, no, no. I, I bought it from um, Austin in Lincoln. Um, as it as was. Oh, so it, it had one done at the bottom. Well. It had all been it had been yeah. done by Mila yeah. earlier on because it's a two thousand and nine model. Ten years old. It's ten years old. It had warranty by five years. Yeah, it way out of warranty. Years, it's had and it's had a new drum because yeah. the apparently the honeycomb drums were renowned for really stress. Stre <laughs> yeah, for um the I think it was the spider or the bearings were like really weak on them. Right. Um. Fifty-three minutes left. Temperatures increasing. I reckon that's about fifty degrees, forty to fifty, just by touching the gla glass. Now you can hear that. Yeah, it's that. That. High pitch oh my gosh. It's so noisy. You can hear it with the door shut. Although it's not actually as bad as what I've seen. Tomorrow morning, if you do come out right here, there's basically on the way to school through the estate. Some of these houses, yeah, we got we, we, they, they've all got a front porch, and some people have the washing machine plugged in the front porch. Oh, which is quite a cool idea. There's a house on the way to either school that we walk past. It's got the washing machine there, and the poor thing sounds like it's about to explode. You can hear it screaming <laughs> from like two streets away. Obviously, the person who's psychic here, they've got their front door. But it's door. basically and it's just sat there. Going, ah! But it's basically outside in all yeah. weathers. Yeah, oh yeah. You see it in the winter, but so that would just to in the rust. Snow, putting a oh, it, the poor thing sounds. If it was a vacuum cleaner, you you put it to sleep. <laughs> you turn it off and change the bearing on it. But yeah, it's poor thing. I would quite like the sound of the porch. Obviously, I can't do it because of the mention, but it would be better with the porch, I think. <laughs> but obviously, my porch is in. In the trailer in the house, on the portion that is the front door, but it's one of the other side, which is nice in itself, but there's no power out there. No, I was going to say it's a shame. I have to unplug this to use the hose pipe to wash the car. That's the only tap we got on the bus. Ah. The plate that it dripped from the seal in front of the cabinet, that cabinet is ruined from just decades of. My utility one is a bit knackered. So it's doing nice, fast, long tumbles, and the clothes are moving around. They're squishing and smooshing, and yeah, that yellow right. cloth that's going around still is, seems to be okay. Yeah. I think you might start loving method more. I, as long as it cleans the clothes and smells yeah, exactly. okay, I'm, I'm never that fast. Because the thing about it is, you're you're basically you're an end user for a washing machine. I'll buy. I'll, yeah. I'll try different things. Yeah. I said, but I've been forced to use that fairy, whatever it is, for years. Yeah. Because when you said before, you could have that if you want. I don't know what's in it, but it doesn't clean clothes. When I stopped using it, I had, when I first was on my own. What, this one? Yeah, that's what we use for, that Amy won't use anything else, but I think it's terrible. And the reason I think it's terrible is because when I was on my own, I got given a box of Waitrose Essentials Biological Washing Powder. Yeah. And the towels... That tea towel sort of thing went from grey to white. I mean, because that's just it, it's it non bio. Clean. The amount of times you didn't get the stains out of children's clothes, and I've normally got something biological in there for vacuum cleaners. The amount of times yes. I've just done a wash with it, yes. and I just put lots of fabric off of it. It's terrible stuff. Awful. Do not like it. But it is mm. always quite cheap. As to, we never buy those bottles for more than about four quid a lot. I mean, they've got it so it's, it's non bio for kids and everything, so. It does, I mean, either. Of... either does come out not used to, just got a massive red rash. But the thing about oh, did, oh she has. Every, yeah, she has done before. When uh, mum's washed her clothes with the Tesco stuff that mum uses she, to get itchy, so uh, it is annoyingly uh, true. All right, okay, doesn't bother yeah. me in the slightest. No, I'm, no. I'm easy. That's why all that stuff was given to me over the last couple of weeks because obviously I'm now on my own, so I'm all stopped up now and sort of using to the kids. But I think the um um. <laughs> what I did have once, going on, carrying on the detergent topic, is a bag of, like, Amy's aunt got them and didn't like them, and gave them to us, and Amy didn't like them, so I kept them, but the pods, the little squidgy tie pods, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Aerial Pond. And I used, yeah. to use, I used to soak back in theory stuff. That was really good. But yeah. because I took about a year to go through the bag, all the bottom ones have oh, melted. Oh, yes. And the last one I did, I just... I pulled the bag in, ugh. filled it up with water, and chucked at it <laughs> to get my money's worth out of something that I didn't pay for in the first place, and then it was okay. But that was, I presume you've got to use those up quite soon before they degrade themselves. Well, no, actually, I think it's it's any moisture, so if there's any damp in the room or damp. sort of I'm like there, moisture, yeah. it's then... It's like the sort of gel inside yeah, the yeah, they, the the they're designed to dissolve. coating will just start to and dissolve. When, when the first one went, it was just a big freaking mess. Yeah. It? yeah. I have chuck two into a box of into a box of stuff to be soaked. So that water is not actually draining, is it? It's being recirculated. Yeah, yeah. So there isn't an actual kind of like power recirculator like the no. LG it has. Sort of dip down but and fill back up. there is plenty of water going on. I'm looking at it and observing oh, yeah, yeah. it, yeah, and it is using a, a, a quite a nice amount of water. Yeah. The slap-in sound, which is sort of like you know the pounding yeah. of the clothes. Because from previous memory, 48 minutes, we've got about 15, about Ooh, that's half... that's getting up to 60 now. About half an hour, on the half an hour mark, we're on 48 minutes. We're on 48 will, minutes, It yeah. will stop, drain everything down, yes. and then refill and do it all again for 20 minutes, then do a final spin for the final 10, then sit there for about 20 minutes for an so we're not Yeah, done. so it goes through like a cool-down process. Probably that, yeah, and it just dumps everything out. Um, <coughs> which is really good, because otherwise the glass would just... Right. But a lot of the machines now will have those smoky covers on them to stop kids from touching them. Yeah. Like my my so hot point was. Will then never learn to not touch anything. No. Nope. So the rest in the book we've got detergents sure. and laundry, troubleshooting, and does it work? No. Oh, there we go. The machine is noisy. There will always be some motor pump and drum noise. The machine won't spin properly. It leaks from the dispenser. It's never leaked from the dispenser. The machine door cannot be opened. The door the will not broke, open until... And then I might have until... kicked it to try and shut it and punched the latch inside. <laughs> Whoops, I got told off for that one. If there is no power to the machine, you Switch need on. to perform the manual unlocking procedure. What's that then? Because oh. the amount of times I've the filter to oh. a manual. The amount um, of times I turned around and found the one thing that I wanted to put in it, not in it. I think I did do it once, but I had to Google so hard for it. Um, I just forgot. There must be a way though, surely. What if like, you leave a cat in there? Yeah, there is a manual way. Let's have a quick it won't do anything now. If I press pause, it'll just sit there locked until I press play again. Uh, Hope all your viewers are enjoying this complete. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, I've got loads of washing, washing, washing people. Yeah, I know you will like washing machines. This is quite. This is good because it's kind of like it's taking you out from something yeah, that's really. just. Yeah. On the vacuum video, you know, I'm, I'm either confident or don't care yeah. because they're vacuum. But this, I'm quite clear. I think Sam's going to start doing the washy Wednesday. You're going to want to do a quick video of Mum's, aren't you? She's got a nice hot one. Oh, she. I don't think we'll have time to do a full washing Wednesday. But we'll have a little look at it. Or you can just tack it on to the end of this one. Yeah, I'll do that, guys. Yes, yeah, yeah, because I'm not doing any editing until I get home. Um, we won't have time for what we're doing. Just the, that, That's the main reason Mr. Dorman is here, for what we're doing. <laughs> so, yeah, so what we'll do is the end of this video will be the... I'm um, looking at um, yeah. Mother Beckle machine. Off there. She might even put some washing on. <laughs> But I doubt we'll be able to sit and film the whole thing. The machine is like three and a half hour long ones. All the time, regardless of what we do. You haven't found it yet, but he's flicking through the manual, bless him. I can't find I don't anything. Think, I'm manual. sure it, it was on some weird, like, service forum. You know, one of those washing machine video forums. Uh, the door, to open the door while rinses, while the cycle is in progress. Press the start and pause button. Oh, yeah. I won't do it. Um, and then uh, the, the, approximately three minutes before the door will open. Oh, that's where I've been going past. Yes. So if, it's all the if it was at the right point, it just open. Yes. If it wasn't full of water, it just, it just open. It's sort of settled if it was spinning. It Which is open. sort of like the um, the vacuum cleaners <coughs> with the um, letterbox, the letterbox ones that open the front, yeah. the ad wash. Yes. 
You can only open that at certain times. Oh, so you don't have that at the time. Everybody in the, the world apple. thinks look, look that you apple. can open it at any time. I suppose it makes sense. Opening it when it's midway through a spin cycle is possibly a little bit dangerous. Because the machine will know that there's uh, uh, the water level in there, yeah. so it'll know that it won't let you open How it. How big does it open? Can you put like a sock in or can you put like it's a, a letterbox you jumper can... in or jeans or bedclothes? You could or... squeeze in a jumper possibly. Just you know, a small something. thing, but it's kind of like it's another thing that can go wrong with oh, the machine. Yeah. And Snap. apparently, Can't they're not very reliable. Oh, no. you, you crack that little sensor, that's no. your machine bit off. Exactly. So it's kind of like you can only open it open it for the same amount of times so that you could sort of like put this, but you can Press put this on pause away. at any time. Yeah. So you could add your lost sock now if you want to. Probably won't do it's full of water. No, no, no. And I bet it won't just drain down, will it? But, uh, no, it won't, no. It just sits there mocking you full of water. But, um... Mocking me, so. Yeah, the, um, the, the cat flap, um, mm. Samsung's, I, I don't like them. To me, they're just curved LEDs, TVs. I laugh every time I see somebody with a curved LED. I'm sorry if anyone's watching, it's got a curved LED. Well, I don't know, I was telling there was one on Facebook for 50 quid that had no picture, but had sound. And it wasn't a smash screen, but I didn't quite have the balls to... But they're awful if because you if, if you, you can't see the angle of the screen from... I could be sitting on the other side of our room right. and I can still see the TV really clearly. Yeah. Whereas with that, because it's curved, you're blocked off, so your viewing angle's reduced. My boss has got a curved monitor for 27 inches. That's pretty lovely. Yeah. But you're just sat squarely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's directly in front of you. Yeah. So now, there's that noise again. Oh, it's not. So it seems to be doing faster cycles. Okay, you okay. For 42 minutes, you can tell how little like And it's draining out, and I believe that has reached 60, definitely. Not that I'm the glass whisperer, but. Listen to its noises. So the pump's nice and quiet. Yeah, well, it's not for the car, please. Listen to the pump action. I scrapped the car by the time they fished it out because it fully blocked up for something. They, <laughs> they took the sun out <coughs> and found yeah, anyway. So I think this is going to be an interim spin. spin. If you wonder what that banging is, it's the um, hamster. hamster. <laughs> it's Paul. I've locked him out of the poor ah. So it's mm. going. That's not full spin either. That's, that's pretty balanced. Well, it? Teeny weeny little bit of suds log. Oh, suds log. We've got a bit of a suds log. Is that what's coming off the clothes now? Um, is that coming into the machine fresh? No, coming off the um, clothes. So, what's it doing at 41 minutes? Like? Is it just sort of mixing, flushing itself? Yeah, it's kind of like flushing out a bit. And then it's going to put the cold water in and. But it's quite surprising how much heat is absorbed when the cold water go, goes in. Um, so it is actually kind of kind of warm. It stays warm. It warms up. I mean, right. <coughs> without they, being heated. All the clothes are in a big hot mass, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe this is this pointless thing for a while. <coughs> Can't imagine that's getting much out of the clothes. There is probably a reason for this. Oh, I think that's sorted out the suds lock now. There's nothing else coming off. That sounds like a daring. <laughs> yeah, the people who watch this now, they'll they'll say it's a daring. Chris will probably yeah, message not, you. Not, you know Chris. Chris and Phil. 
I might have to get a bloke in, I'll get Dorian to update me on what's going on. So if anybody's watching this, does that sound like a bearing? Grappling. It's not too bad, to be honest. We can still have a conversation. We can still have a conversation and hear each other with it. Well, no, that is true. Even my Miele at 1600 RPMs is loud for those minutes. Yeah, well, I've got that. It's like the final five minutes. Minutes now. So it does really well for reaching its temperature in such a short period of time. So the heater on it's really good. I've got an Eco Cotton um, cycle as well. Uh, the um, Eco Cotton 6040. How is that that takes really kind of so long. How is that any more really kind of the other system? Because it doesn't reach Which those is temperatures. Is it I know. So does my LG. But they don't reach that. They, they hardly reach 30 degrees, even after like three hours. So, go on, as soon as we've got the manual, this is going to be this one. What is the longest cycle we've seen that? I don't think it gave time. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's absolutely Um, It's got cycles and options. Oh, I didn't tell you how long it takes. Oh, oh, hang on. Sure. I know the Miele one did. Max load, residual energy consumption, total wash. Oh, yeah, cycle duration. Mm. Oh, what's the Tell longest it does? Uh, 195, which is the Eco Cotton 60. How long was that? About two hours. Uh, so that's about 195 six, 12, minutes. That's two hours and something, isn't it? Three. 60, 120, uh, 180, so it's three hours, three hours, 15 minutes. How is that any less economical than this quick hour? Well, that's really funny because it, that is the total water is 52.5 litres. So the, the so that uses 52. How is that economical? That's like anti. Yeah, but if you do, if you do the equal carton 40, it uses 76 oh. litres of water. How is that economic? That's like the opposite of eco. Fast uses that's 36. The, yeah, that's the one there. What does number four... It's number four, I generally do. For, uh, that's what I'm doing, it doesn't have a cycle duration. Yeah, to to bed, that means it? the duration of the wash cycles can be checked on the display. Yeah, we're not doing that. Really. No. But, okay. This, does it say the shortest one there? Because it's probably actually the fast uh, 15. 15, yeah, 15 fast 15. Minutes, yeah. It, was, it uses 26 litres. I didn't actually know how much a washing machine has to be. Well, water really Why is good. that called Eco Carton, right? Because it's got here energy consumption, right? It's all of it. And it's 0.99. Well, because it takes uh, so long to get water up. But, <laughs> but the fast wash. The fast wash only uses 68, and the fast wash, 15, only uses 0 0.4, 0 0.04, but the so-called Eco uses 0 0.99. 400 ml of water to do a load of washing. That's incredible. How do you resolve of your one tea towel? I know, that's ridiculous. Why do they call it eco when it takes so long and uses so much energy? <laughs> I'm uses never more using water. Definitely use that. Say. Uses more electricity. Yeah, I don't understand why that's eco. Why is that eco? I don't know. Call me a cynic, but is it eco because it uses so little electricity to do the entire thing? That's what gives it its A plus plus. But overall, during a cycle, it's, it's using more than the other ones. No, it's using more water, but it's using less because it, it no, it's using it more energy. Slower for no. Because oh. it's using zero. The Eco sixty uses zero point nine nine kilowatts. Ah. Whereas a fast wash sixty uses zero point six eight. Ah. <laughs> 
anti eco. Yeah, exactly. Every the, I way. cannot see what is eco about this. No, a comment if you know. Yes, comment if you know. That just seems very odd to me. Oh, so we're now tumbling the other way. Well, well, well. That is true. Have you ever had any issues with the dispenser draw breaking? Nope. No, they're pretty tough. The, um, the older one to this, I'm sure they had a, a problem with the drawers breaking all the time. Right. Yeah, that's about the only thing on this thing that hasn't broken. 27 minutes left. <clears throat> That's really good. It's not using loads of water at all. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, I think it's going to go for its first spin. It's, uh, 26 minutes for dumping it out, I think. When we finish the load, we'll turn the dial and see the um, the times for the washes that we yeah. couldn't see on there. Second interim spin. And this one's a bit more hardcore. Mm. If you had my viewers, I'd put a lovely little headphone for you on that now. Well. <laughs> you're not, yes. I'm Mr. Who likes to me. So if you've got headphones, I would turn them down and touch yep. now. Low balance, isn't it? It, it, it works out where it is. Mm, it sort of like gets out loads yeah. of as much water so the pump can take it away. It's to prevent suds lock. So it, it prevents more water coming out of the clothes than the pump can handle. Mm. And then those paddles on the inside start catching the water, it just makes suds. So it's taking out water enough for the pump to use. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm sure that there's a bit of spin. Could be wrong. Don't think it's going to do one now. That sounds like a bearing. I bet that's a bearing. I don't want to know. Da, 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 da. It's not going to be fun to physically run one of Yeah. It's very steady. I haven't seen the machine move at all. It's really sort of like, you know, it's well balanced. It was well balanced, but it's not The spin on it is low, but it's not too bad. It's not as hard as I've ever had it. For the moment, yeah. <laughs> I 
Actually, I don't think it is a bearing. I think if it was a bearing, it would it would have gotten like really loud during it. Just I think something's just loose inside it, vibrating. <laughs> a bit the whole to jump into place. It's yeah. Fine. But in my opinion, I don't really mind. Um, I don't care because I've never hot really hear what it does. It. That's why I, I did it during the day now, so it could explode and I wouldn't find out for another three hours. But we know when you had your melee, oh, it was then nice. that is just so quiet. It was. Got to be able to get rid of that. So now yeah. it has a little rest, mm. thinks about life for a second. <laughs> I don't know where that's drawing the water from now. You can not keep. Yeah, it's now I'm trying to go for more where it goes. Well, if it was in, we didn't put any liquid in the drum. I presume all the liquid in the drum is now gone. And it's basically just going to be rinsed for 10 minutes. Yeah. Without the fabric soft to add it, but yes. this is something really interesting I never realised, right? So if you put if you think, oh do you know what, I may as well put the fabric softener in with the detergent, yeah. they cancel each other out. Uh -huh. So say, say for example you, you put in too much detergent and you start getting suds, if you pour in a tiny bit of fabric softener and wash it through, that will kill the suds. Well that's the same for wet dry backs if you Champion your carpet and it phones up fabric conditioner. That's oh, right, okay. I've, yes. I've heard that before. So if you. Um, but yeah, I used to know somebody who only used fabric soft, but I wouldn't really wash them. Yeah. Yeah, they're closely disgusting. Oh. But um, um, if. Uh, what was I saying about. Uh, oh, yeah. Years ago, bowl two in one. Oh, I. It's never two in one. It's just, it's just washing detergent with an extra scent. Yeah. There's no actual fabric softener in it, uh -huh. so I've been told by X, by Chris and Phil, well, there you and go. Chris Parker and all of them. It'd be interesting to see that towel. I probably should have made it a bit dirty if I was ever doing this. <laughs> That's all be dried up and won't be worked clothes on Tuesday. See, the only thing I couldn't live without is a tumble dryer. I doesn't bother me. Do you know what would be interesting is to see how much water comes out from that load from the spinner. Oh, I'd love to. Should but we? I don't know. It'll stay wet for ages. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That'd be good too, because it'll sit. Yeah. We can move that. Yeah. But then how long do we need the spinner for? We could bed like two o'clock. <laughs> oh, no, then it goes in for like ten, four, four minutes. Oh, okay. Do it less than that. Could do, because it could just sit there overnight and dry. Washing up, you know. I'll put the pause and I'll, I'll put the washing up away. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Okay, guys, we'll do that. We'll test the spinner. Now you've got to remember to put the spinner video up first. Oh, I have. <laughs> <clears throat> the only thing is, I wish these machines, this would give a little bit more water for the rinses to really make sure that the stuff's rinsed out. Well, I don't Doesn't know. use a lot of water for rinses. I don't think I've ever pushed the extra rinse button. So, it'd be interesting to see what it does. With 90 Just another there, rinse. You added 10 minutes to it. So, yeah. in theory, it would be about to start it spinning, but I think we just keep this for 10 minutes now, and then spin. That sounds like something stuck in with the <laughs> fill the, the pump. Stop. It's fine. I've lost a few phrases. You've seen the videos of um, um, on YouTube. Um, 
Oh my god, my mind, my mind is mashed. Um, the Secret Life of. Yes, love them. Yeah, I, I, I love them I too. I've watched them so many times. What was my point? <laughs> they, got, they did a washing machine one, didn't they? Yeah, that was it. That's what I was on about. Oh my god. You watch all the love and beautiful old machines. I never realised what the pump did. I didn't think it was just a spinning disc. Yeah. I, you know when you hear that, the jung, the jung, the jung, the jung, the jung. I thought it was like rubber bellows, like no, it'd be, pumping. It'd be pulsing the it, bit. Yeah, back up and pulsing the water yeah. up and down the pipe, but I didn't realise that. Like the car, So when you were a kid, I knew that you used to play with vacuums and, you know, you, you, but did you ever kind of like sit in front of the washing machine and yeah, watch it when you were a kid? I've had it to music. Ah. And it was before, before I was born, just that they made me sit. Yeah. And she had the matching music dishwasher, which we never used, and it seemed itself up and got thrown away. Good washing machine, actually. Yeah, I do remember that. Well, I don't know about those things, the door was tiny. Yes. And I'm sure all of the pictures I've seen, all the washing down tiny. Tiny doors. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially the old hot points with the purple door. Yeah. The actual hole is minuscule. Well, I probably had a, a vintage hot point. Yeah. From the 80s, and they bought it with the hot point fraction, which is impeachable. They used to go dancing in the dancing room and got onto the staff discount. So it was brown and beige. Oh, wow. The same colour as the hot point super uplights they used to be with yeah. brown bay. We had the dishwasher actually which was quite easy. Oh. That was brown and bay with nice big clunky pretty yes. nice black old curved curved hot point logo on Oh wow. That was a really nice to see. And again I think they even got rid of those because they they had it for twenty five years and put it so far they had their nineteen fifty six and get to last fridge. Only until about five years ago, but the, the door seal went with the third decade. Mm. That's quite funny. It's kind of like the 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 next generation of the collectors of vacuums yeah. and washing machines. The, the the new generation is kind of like it's all about bagless. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is which is fine because it's kind of like that's yeah. what they grew up with. You yeah. know, that's what they remember. Yeah. And that's why I'm thinking fifty. Although I grew up with that, I remember seeing my first DCO while I being a bag. Yes. And I suppose they did grow up with that. Yeah. Which is why I see the plus and minus points of that. Yeah, who knows in twenty years' time suddenly I'll pick one of these up for gum tree for thirty grand yeah. and be like, oh, oh my gosh. You know, these are the these are these the, are the future. future collector pieces. Like these years. Hoover Lux 2039 with <laughs> taking one apart. Oh, spray paint in the fun. I think I, I don't know what we'll have by then. I think I think I think washing machines. I don't think they're going to change that much. They haven't they changed in the past you, fifty, you know, a hundred years. You can't, couldn't you? I mean, the next generation. I suppose, kind of thing be, is... I suppose you started with the digital motor one. Yes. But even so, I think that's probably still quite niche tech for a washing machine. Not many have it. They're not allowed to apparently with the um co uh, the copyright, which surprises me because there is another direct drive brand um that uses direct drive. Because are all LG washing machines direct drive now? Because just a sort of under the yeah, they're, they're all they're direct drive. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. it was like a little fad that had no, quite no, taken no. off. Even good. their um like top loaders in America and have their direct drive as well, uh, and yeah. the little mini ones that fit underneath, uh, they're all direct drive. Yeah, they're they're, they're um, like dishwashers. Quick their industry, give it until the paint's expired, bang, they're yeah. going to go in. But they're direct drive, they're, washing, they're dishwashers, I believe, are direct drive. And yeah, in, so in the the list, one of the tiny motors that's been. They use the quieter motors, which is AC, is it? <laughs> Sam's going to go for a wee! Yeah. We're not going to follow him. Now, you've got a washing machine to fill this, 13 minutes to go. 
12. Sam's Bland Pants. We're on the final rinse, which is using the fabric softener. And I found you can always tell that by the um, droplets of water. Tell you why, I must try a bit, uh, a bit of fabric softener as a final rinse on my, um, on my car before I uh, towel it off. There's plenty of water in there, but I do wish that they would have used a little bit more water. Um, that's just my fetish with the with the rinses. I like plenty of water in the rinses to make sure all the you know as much of the chemicals are out. You animal. Was that good? You feel better. Very satisfied. So fabric softener rinse, final rinse. How do you know it's got the fabric softener? Uh, it beads, mm -hmm. which I didn't realise. I watch watch Auto Shine. I don't know if you the Scottish, yeah, yeah, yeah him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he uses dishwasher rinse it. He sprays that over his oh, car before he towel dries it. And yeah. fabric softener is pretty much the same if kind of thing. If it's, basically, if it's basically hydroscopic, I had a bottle of water yeah. with an aqua wax that did roughly the same thing. Like, I think that's what they use in um, beat, Arc. You can't beat a fully polished up manly car there. I really do think that in um, the Arc car washes, I think that's what they use. Oh, it'll be something, yeah, not that one. And cheap, you know, you can oh, buy yeah. <laughs> gallons of it and yeah, it's yeah. watered down to nothing, but still enough to do the effect. Mm. So what's going to happen in the final 10 minutes then? We're going to have to wear ear defenders. Yeah, I've never noticed the water bead before, but you know it. Is that I that's would, why I, I never use fabric softener on towels. I hate fabric softener on towels. See, my if you used, used a tiny amount... You don't think I'd try it. My stepmom used it. I you don't have that. I've got a towel around. in my suitcase, right? You can have that I'm towel really and have a shower. <laughs> And you can tell me how, how unabsorbent it is. To be fair, your towels are bad. I haven't used them before. But yeah, my step Oh, yeah, you have. Yeah, you've yeah. stayed over our my house. My yeah. actually can. You just push the water around until it just evaporates. Oh, I know. It's horrendous. <laughs> I used to do it with this. I, I never use fabric. And it's like it's the only thing I've got to go into yeah. other stuff. Always do a wash without it. Same with the microfiber. I don't use I don't know. I don't use any. Det I don't use fabric softener with the microfiber. They're sort of scrappy ones now. So that's yes. not. I've never used those to buff up a finished machine now. Yes. But. But I do use a tiny amount in towels. But that's it, that, that's not really the right thing to do. Again, all this stuff, it's all personal preference. Yeah, that's true. I like a nice scratchy, hard, yeah, itchy towel. Dry you like a man towel. <laughs> Scour not, towel. If you're not bleeding, you're not dry enough. <laughs> do you know when you dry? Do you do that? Do you put a towel that end and do that? No, like a rocker ball. They're folded underneath and caught, and it hurt a lot. So no, I, I don't do that anymore. No. <laughs> Just, just pulled it wrong, yeah, just pulled it yeah. up. Eight for hours. I can't imagine there was just a, a, a yeah. towel up the crack of your ass the, along the edge. Ugh. Oh, we've dropped down to five, yeah. Five minutes, final go, spin. If you're still watching now, this is where it, it yes. gets interesting. 54 you, minutes in. I'm just waiting to hang it up. <laughs> In the morning, I'm not hanging up now, it's fast for that. It's intense if it's taken in there and the night. If that's been dry, you can go for three. My hot point used to sound the same, even though it was an inverter mortar, it still sounded a little bit like it. Ooh, that's not very balanced. Hopefully, the machine will recognise that it's not balanced. But how does it rebalance it? How can it... Um, it'll just literally just stop and then just do tumbles. Uh, no, I don't think it's really... No, it hasn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. It just goes for it. It just goes for it. Which is what I find really frustrating with the LG. It is a pain in the ass for balancing. <laughs> But the Mila just goes for it, balances pretty well. That's just clothes trapped. Mm. Whatever you do, it's only got four minutes to do it. Three minutes. Three. Oh, 
としてるよ。That is not gonna. Yes, it's noticed that it's. Yes, so there we go, it's intelligent. It's noticed that it's not balanced, so hopefully now when it does some tumbles. So that's just reversed, just shake it all up. Just to shake it all up to try and, yeah. um, you know, re. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's try it again. Oh, that's better. Oh. That's a bit disappointing. Oh no. Two minutes. No, it's gotta do it by now. It's gotta do two minutes. It's gotta do the spin now. It's not good, actually. It's not just about getting nodded. It'll be over soon. It'll be over in a minute. It'll be over in a minute. <laughs> the Mila is brilliant like that for spinning. It just spins and finishes. Yeah, but yeah, but that's what this is. Oh, it, the LG takes 25 minutes to spin. <gasps> and finishes, this will literally spin and dump. One minute. Too bad. Really? Yeah, I've heard far worse. Okay. Because this one, the pitch is just not bad, I tell you. Yes. <laughs> no, that's actually not bad. Yeah. I've heard far worse. It's still very solid. Yeah, yeah. It must be overloaded. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded awful when the spider was starting to pop down. We were washing like this, but there was a whole segment. I can definitely took the fuse out to switch from the unit. Okay, now it's going up to its full spin. I can understand, I can hear that pitch in my ears. How it would, yeah, definitely. But it's not as loud as a lot of you. Well, no, I'm not. Chris and Phil and all the washer guys, they're all the really experts. Rob and Paul. Maybe we see Ken from this. Oh, I don't like them. Going faster.
faster still. Zoom is free spinning itself down now. Mm. Really that's it, that was the cat. <laughs> the so let's see if it does an anti tangle, anti crease. Or what? Uh, oh, I, I don't know if that. it's going to stop now and not move anything. A lot of machines that. have an anti tangle, so it tumbles uh. for a few seconds to loosen all the claws up from there. No, it definitely doesn't have that. Uh, So there we go, that is now showing, oops, end. Now you've got to wait an eternity. Three minutes. Oh, is that just his default thing? Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be three minutes. Oh, and then once. Minutes. Let's do it again! <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so when you're like just wanting to have the washing out before you go to work, it takes forever. It does not feel like three minutes when you're literally just trying to get out the door but want to hand the washing out so it can dry during the day. A pain in the butt. Why does it take so long? Now I asked... You must know what it's doing. I asked the same question to Phil. And he said there's something to do with the, the release mechanism on the door is kind of like a... A, a, like a temperature spring oh i see yeah, yeah. and that kind of like you've got to wait for that to cool down or whatever so it'll, the contacts, yeah. break the contact yes whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. so it. that's what phil said to me but that was on an older machine i don't know whether it's still the same for the newer ones i don't know um there we go okay. there we go so right okay t let's what have a look at the stain what so that stained yellow cloth, how did that come up? It will never come clean, because it's just too stained. But... It's fresh, it smells quite nice. Um, yeah, that smells really fresh. Where's the towel? Yeah, there's, there's nothing anti-tangle about it. <laughs> right. Ooh. There we go, you can't deal with food stains. That was a chicken korma mix, that was. And I spattered a bit on the side and wiped it off with that. Oh, that didn't do very well. I think that might have to go into a boil wash. No, we're not doing a boil wash. No, 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 I'm not about now. But everything else is fine, isn't I've, I've worn this shirt for seven hours, sat down, doing nothing. And it's almost fine for that. But yeah, I, I don't think I'll be using that method stuff once it's gone. I'll so use if it I have a it. feel of the um, clothes for sort of like dampness, they are... They're not too bad. No, it, it, it does do a good job there. Yeah, that has done a really good job of spinning. That would be dry the day if it's upstairs. Yeah, definitely. Now, let's see how much more water we can get out of these with the um, Frigidaire. spinner, Frigidaire spinner. Okay, so here we are with the Frigidaire 2800 RPMs. Please don't judge me for my sink. I haven't done the washing up. I wasn't expecting <laughs> us to do this. I'm yeah. going to go on the sink. So let's take out the blue thing. Okay. Load up your clothes. All of them? Yep. Try and fit them in so they're kind of like... Ah, I see. Balanced. Actually, I think that might be it without the trousers. Yeah. <laughs> I do have big trousers. Okay, we've done that. Let's put the blue mat on. 
Okay, blue mat is in. Are we plugged in? Yes. Right, okay, here goes. Ah. Plugged in, but we better switch down. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. Just for starting it off. Let's see if we get any water out of it. How long should it normally take, though? Literally just a minute or so. Oh, that's not as quiet as it was when it was empty, is it? No. The last, last day, is it? Yeah. Sorry, bro. No, I can see a bit. Oh, wet. Hey. Okay, here it comes. After you've got a corner, this is stuck in red bow for it, and give it like a total spin up. Yeah, I can <laughs> Good break on it. Oh, oh wow! Ooh. Ooh. That Ooh. held it. So that stays like that. Oh wow, that's very clever. Right, take something out and see if you think it's like any more super dryer. A little bit, perhaps, but not. Yeah. I think that's probably just yeah. Yeah. It's just the ear. I think you have more luck, say, turning off the vents on a machine and then doing it afterwards and getting water flooding out. You can just stick on the deck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just the water. Yeah, yeah exactly. But no, that's really good. Yeah, that okay, so we haven't quite finished the video yet because yeah. we're going to be taking a look at Sam. Oh, let me turn the camera on now. So, yeah, so there we are. There's a pair of us. Hello. Hi. So we're going to be at Sam's mum's tomorrow. Sam. So we're going to have a look. Saturday. Oh, Saturday, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so we will take a look at the machine at uh, her house. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look and then we'll end the video there. Yeah. See, See you in a minute. minute.